What's up YouTube again? This is Chris or Lunarman bringing you part two to my um, YouTube avatar slash logo tutorial. Um, and by avatar I mean the little thing that pops up when somebody searches your name in the search bar. Um, okay, so previously I've done a video on maybe just a type versus a color background. Um, this video I will do type versus a picture background because I know a lot of you have picture backgrounds like maybe representing your favorite game or whatever. Um, so first thing you want to do is you want to do file again. You want to do new. And mine is still set to what I had it before, so I'm just going to keep that. Um, you know, like pixels, pixels, whatever. And just do OK. So here we have our box. Um, create a new layer. I could probably use this background layer, but I'll just create a new one. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want your picture that you want to use. So, I mean, I know a lot of people play uh, Star Wars The Old Republic. So maybe you want to use something from that. I know a lot of people do Minecraft. I think I've seen a couple people with Minecraft avatars with text in front of it. Um, but for me, I will use, I don't know, maybe I can do two different pictures. But first one, I will use a League of Legends picture. So what you want to do is you want to do File, and then go down to Place if you're using Photoshop. But, I mean, I would assume that it's about the same in, like, Paint.net or, um, like, uh, GIMP. You know, just import a photo. Um, scroll down, find your photo. I'll, I'll do this JPEG, so I'll place it. And so it doesn't really matter that there's text on it, because I'm going to end up zooming it in, making it larger. Well, actually, let me... Uh, that doesn't do what I wanted it to do. Let me redo that, actually. It'd probably be easier for me to crop it first. That'd be smarter. So let me just press enter. Let me get the crop tool. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Um, never mind, never mind. <laughs> Derp. Um, okay, never mind, never mind. Um, so let me just select the picture again with con control T. Make it larger like I was going to do. Just make it to where Caitlyn's like face or something is in here. Okay, yeah, that works. Okay, so there's our background for our avatar. So next we want to get a text layer. Um, and actually, if you get an image, see this little thing right here? It's like a paper with folded over in a square. If you right click it, well, actually, let me show you what that does. When you have it like this and you go to image and adjustments, you cannot edit it. I'm, I'm not really sure why. But you want to right click it and you want to go to rasterize layer. I'm not exactly sure what it does, well, like what rasterization means, but it, it took away the paper and now with the layer selected you can change all the contrast and stuff. So you, you're going to want to do that with if you upload an image into Photoshop. Um, but now let's uh, do text again and get some text on there. So I have it set for Century Gothic. You probably don't want to use Century Gothic on this background but let's say you do and for this video I'm just gonna use the word Vimcar and as you can see it's red so let me grab it and of course red would not work at all for colors let me uh, make it a little bit larger maybe you want it across the bottom yeah let's make let's put it across the bottom so I hope you can all see that red would never work because it's so hard to read um, so let's change it to just a typical color white. Um, okay, so white even would not really work. If you zoom out, you'll see that you kind of lose the top of the F, and you kind of lose like the top of the E. And all I can really see is the M, C, and maybe the R. So you're going to want to get either the background changed or the text changed. Um, so... I, this this picture has actually already been edited, but let me edit it a little bit more. So if you want to edit it a little bit, you can go to Image, Adjustments. Let's, let's just start with Brightness Contrast. So if you wanted to use white text, you could do Brightness, turn it down a little bit more. And see, it just makes the picture look kind of crappy. So I'm going to do Cancel. Um, so what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to change the text. Oh, whoops. Ha. You're going to have to change the text. Uh, to make it readable. It's a little bit more readable up at top, so maybe you want to leave it up there. Um, but let me just go ahead and say that one of the biggest mistakes that I see people make when creating an avatar with a picture behind it is that they do the color some weird, like, kooky color, like, that doesn't match anything. Like, they'll do it like blue. 
and they'll do it like this and they'll just leave it and like it doesn't no that does not work at all so you're, you're not going to want to do that um may, or maybe they'll have it like i see a lot of people with complete just red ones and of course we've already said that that won't work but um this picture is not really the best picture for doing this i'm gonna turn this layer off for a second let me grab the um, picture and see if there's a better spot on it. If it'll let me grab it. Um, actually, let me... Okay, so now you've seen that example of a weird colored background on like a weird colored picture. So let me delete this picture. Put in another picture. So we'll go file, place. And I do have a couple other pictures on here. YouTube thumbnails. And let me use... Let me use the original picture. This is the original one before it has been edited. So what you could do now, since you have the original and not an edited one, you could fit it in here like so. And there you go. Now you have all of Caitlin. And so now for the text, you could probably put the text up here. You could do control T you could scale it down move it up here so that looks pretty good now um, I would definitely would not say red though um, so let's do control T no not control T let's do the type tool um, let's, let's see about black see black looks pretty good whoops black, black looks pretty decent um, but maybe you want to add just a tad bit of color but because you don't want it black but nothing too crazy so what you're going to want to do if you want to do a tad bit of color you notice how there's a, like a lot of dark browns in here um, you want to kind of try to pull those browns out like make the make the text match the background like this this picture is a lot of yellow red and brown and a little bit of green so what you could do is you could go into like an orange-ish and you could come down here towards it's brown do okay and so now it kind of matches the picture a little bit, maybe a little bit too much. Um, but you could always add a border also. So if you select it all, uh, you you can be you can add a border somewhere. Um, I'm not exactly sure where to add the border. I know you can in Illustrator. I wonder what happens when you click 3D. Whoa! <laughs> I don't know how to use this, but it looks really cool. <laughs> um, I want to view it. What is this? I think this is no. That's not how I do it. Oh no! What am I doing? Okay, I just click escape to get out of that. Um, but let me undo that. Uh, not do 3D because I don't know how to use the 3D mode <laughs> but if anybody in Photoshop knows how to do 3D and see okay what it did is it changed this up here so I want to do this and just change it back to essentials um, but yeah this is basically a brief little tutorial on how to make text not clash like of course if you were to select this and make it oh let's make it blue I love blue you see how like that looks really crazy and it's I don't know it's just like really bright versus like kind of dull background you just don't want to do things like that. So if this were me, I'd probably want to make it... Mm, no, not red. I'd probably want to make it like a grayish brown or something. Maybe a dark red, because that's kind of hard to read. I'd probably make this a dark red. Maybe about right there. And I'd probably put a white border around it, if I could figure out how to put a border around it. Um, so if this was me, this would be my final one because see this red right here, got some red right here, a little bit right there, maybe a little bit over here somewhere, and just stuff like that. Also, actually now that I think about it, what you can do is I think, yeah, see the eyedropper? You can actually change the color of the text to this color specifically by clicking on different parts of the picture. See, like if I click this, it'll be like a white a whitish cream and if I click this it'll be a like a yellowish and then like another brownish so I kinda like that you know it directly pulls out from the picture click this little part right here might be a little bit brown so let's let's do that leave it at that um, this is our final little image JPEG thing and 
preferably you don't want the text to be over the figure like just think of how it would be if I had like this over her face like it just kind of looks kind of stupid and you can't really read the A and the R so you kind of want to keep the the text clear of your figure anywhere or maybe like the background too because it's you know whatever um, so yeah thank you guys for watching and leave some comments and stuff like that and I'll see you guys later peace